Hey, what's up, guys? It's Dark Arm Duel Centegony doing a Master Duel Blackwing deck profile. So I'm really excited to do this one for you guys because Blackwings are my favorite deck of all time. And it's super fun to be able to play, to be able to summon out all sorts of awesome synchro monsters to your side of the field to help you go in for game. So without further ado, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell in there so you can come part of notification squad, and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description below for all those awesome rewards. Like in your name, description, every single video, getting assigned cards in the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile every single month your Patreon. So without further ado, let's get straight on into this. So first off, we're going to be playing three copies of Simoon. Simoon is one of the most powerful cards in the entire deck, because this card instantly gets you to Black Whirlwind. This card is easily if you control no monsters and have this card in your hand, you can manage one of their Blackwing monster from your hand to place Black Whirlwind from your deck face up in your spell and trap card zone, meaning your opponent cannot Ash Blossom this card. This card also has the ability then you either send this card to the grave or normal summon this card to your side of the field without tributing, and that actually does does not take up your normal summon for the turn, which is amazing because it is normal summoning itself off its own ability. This card does lock you into dark monsters, but that's not that big of a deal because it's all we're playing pretty much in the deck. And during the end phase, you do have to send Black Whirl and that you placed on your side of the field to the graveyard and then take a thousand points of damage. But by that time, you've already established an absolutely crazy field. This card is a card you definitely want to see in your opening hand. And it's just an absolutely broken three of. We then play three copies of Sudri. Sudri is an amazing three of in the build and probably the best normal summon in the entire deck. As when this card is normal summon to your side of the field, you can add one card that mentions Blackwing Dragon from your deck to your hand, except another copy of this card. And there's a lot of targets you can search from your deck to your hand, like your copies of Shamal, Vada, and even your copies of Twin Shadow off this card's effect. We can play three copies of Shamal. Shamal is an amazing card. This card is so good in the deck because it helps you get to your copy of Black Feather Whirlwind. By sending this card from your hand to the graveyard, you can actually place a copy of Black Feather Whirlwind from your deck onto your side of the field in your spell and trap card zone. And if a Blackwing Singer Monster or a Blackwing Dragon is special summoned to your side of the field, while this card's in the graveyard, you can actually banish this card and then take a Blackwing Monster in your graveyard and add it to your hand and then take 700 points of damage which is an awesome ability to recover cards like your copy of Sudri and then you can normal summon again if you have a copy of Nothung on your side of the field which is so cool or even set up for plays during the following turn. We then play three copies of Vada. Vada is an amazing three of as well in the deck and definitely a three of in this build because this card instantly gets you your copy of Blackwing Dragon. This card is easily, if you control a Blackwing monster other than a copy of Vada, you can special summon this card from your hand. This card also has the ability during your main phase, you can send from your deck to the graveyard monsters that equal level eight, including this card to your graveyard to be able to special summon a copy of Blackwing Dragon directly from your extract to your side of the field, which is such a cool ability because what you're going to do is usually send a level two monster Zaphros the elite and this card to the graveyard to essentially synchro summon into a black wing dragon which is so cool that this card is essentially like a one card black wing dragon which is so amazing we then play a single copy of Zaphros the elite Zaphros the elite is a definite one of the build this card is really good but it is a once per duel effect which is why I just play this card as a one of in the deck this card lets you bounce a card from your side of the field back to your hand take 400 points of damage and special summon this card back from your graveyard to your side of the field, which is why it's one of the best targets to send the grave off of Vada's ability to step into Blackwing Dragon. We then play a single copy of Gale the Whirlwind. Gale the Whirlwind is awesome in this deck as one of, because if you control a Blackwing monster, you can special summon this card from your hand to your side of the field, and once per turn, you can half the attack and defense of one face-up monster your opponent controls, helping you OTK your opponent. We then play a single copy of Sharunga. Sharunga is amazing in this build as a one of as well, because if a monster with 2,000 more attack is on your side of the field, you can special summon this card from your hand. And if you control a Blackwing Synchro monster, quick effect, you manage to discard from the graveyard and then target a face-up card your opponent controls and destroy it, but that is a once per duel effect to be able to pop a card. We then play a single copy of Hamaten the Dust. Hamaten is really good as a one of as well. As if you control a Blackwing monster other than a copy of Hamaten, you can special summon this card from your hand, and when this card is normal or special summon, you can actually target and one other Blackwing monster you control and increase this card's level by that monster's level, letting you level manipulate this card to be the exact level that you need to be able to synchro summon. We then play a single copy of Chinook. 
Chinook is actually a hand trap in the deck, and sometimes I will send this card to the graveyard for the effect of Vada, but it's really good in this deck as one because it lets you send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard, then target a face-up monster that your opponent controls to send a Blackwing Synchro monster or Blackwing Dragon from your X deck to the graveyard, and if you do, until the end of the turn, the targeted monster loses 7 or attack and also its effects are negated, and it's a quick effect if you control a Dark Synchro monster, which is such a cool effect. We can play a single copy of Oroshi the Squall. Oroshi has a really cool ability. If you control a Blackwing monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. And if you use this card as a synchro material, you can target a monster on the field and change its battle position. We then play three copies of the Bestial Lubellium. This card is an amazing 3F in the deck that has some really cool abilities that it cannot be normal summoned or set. It must be special summoned from your hand or grave by tributing a level 6 or higher Dark Dragon monster to be able to summon this card out to your side of the field. You can also send this card from your hand to the graveyard to be able to add a bestial monster from your deck to your hand, except another copy of this card, and during your main phase, you can place a branded continuous spell or trap card face up on your side of the field, which can be either branded regain or branded beast. We then play a single copy of Magnemut. Magnemut's really good as a one of the deck, and all of our level six bestial monsters actually share a common effect. As you can target a light or a dark monster in either player's graveyard and banish it, and if you do, special summon this card from your hand. And it's a quick effect if your opponent controls a monster, but this card is amazing in the deck as a one of because it has the ability, if this card is special summoned, you can activate the effect that during the end phase of this turn, you can add a dragon monster from your deck or graveyard to your hand, which is great to be able to grab a copy of Druus Worm directly from your deck to him. Speaking of Druid Swarm, we also play a single copy of Druid Swarm, which is a great spot removal card in the deck. We play a single copy of Sawnier. Sawnier is great to be able to send your copy of Regain to the graveyard, so you can put it back on your side of the field with Branded Beast. If this card does touch the graveyard, you do get to send that card to the grave, which is a really cool effect. And then we play a single copy of Baldrake. Baldrake's amazing as a one of as well, just to be able to spot remove cards off the field. I find that playing all these cards at one in the deck is just really good for this particular build, and just helps out a lot to have the names in the build, but you only need a single copy of each one, because a lot of them are currently at one. We then play a single copy of Assault Synchron. Assault Synchron is just amazing in this build as one of because it's a small world bridge, plus it's a reference because it's a blackbird, which is really cool to be able to use in the deck. And it's a reference to Crow Hogan, but it's really good in the deck because during the main phase, you can special summon this card from your hand and then take 700 points of damage. But once on the field, you cannot special summon except for Synchro Monsters, which is not that big of a deal from the extra deck, because all we're playing in this extra deck is actually Synchro Monsters. So this card is really good to be able to use as a small world bridge to help us get to our copy of Simu. We then play for the last three cards of the deck, we're also playing three copies of Maxi, because it is a Master Duel deck profile. You gotta play three copies of Maxi, because it helps you dig into the deck, and usually just makes the opponent stop playing, which is really funny, but this card is amazing as a three out of the build, to basically just help us draw additional cards. But since it is a Master Duel deck profile, you gotta to play three so that's it for the monsters guys let's get in to the spells So for the spells, we're going to start with a single copy of Branded Regained. Branded Regained is really good as a one of in the deck. Because if a light or dark monster is banished, except during the damage step, you can target one of those monsters and place that monster on the bottom of the deck and if you do, draw a card. It also says really if your opponent normally special summons a monster except during the damage step, you can target a bestial monster in your graveyard and special summon it to your side of the field, which is a really cool effect just to help you bring your bestial monsters back to the field because they do have 2,500 attack points apiece, which is amazing. We can play a single copy of Black Feather Whirlwind. Black Feather Whirlwind is really cool as a one up in the build because this card has the effect that once per turn, if you special summon a Dark Synchro monster from the X deck, you can actually target one of your Blackwing monsters or a Blackwing dragon that's banished or in your graveyard with attack less than the monster special summon, and then you special summon that monster. Also, once per turn, if a Dark Monster Control would be destroyed by Battle of a card effect, you can actually remove a Black Feather counter from your field instead, giving you a little bit of protection as well. So, we're going to have those on Assault. Dragon. We then play two copies of Called by the Grave. Called by the Grave is amazing as a two of because it's currently at two in Master Duel to basically just stop your opponent's hand traps. 
We can play three copies of Small World. Small World is really good as a three of in the build to be able to use in this deck to basically search out your copy of Simoon. All you have to do is reveal any of your Black Wings that are not level two, then reveal your copy of Assault Synchron because the only thing they're going to have in common is that they are both dark. Your copy of Assault Synchron is a machine. It has 700 attack. It has zero defense points and it's a level two. So anything but a level two Black Wing will work to be able to reveal in your hand. Then you reveal your copy of Simoon to be able to add Simoon from your deck to your hand off of Small World, which is our main bridge to be able to use in this deck. We then play three copies of Black Whirlwind. Black Whirlwind is so cool, especially if you open multiple copies of this card. This card is the ability to win it, a Blackwing monster is normal summoned to your side of the field. You can add a Blackwing monster from your deck to your hand with less attack points than that monster, which is such a powerful effect because it's not a once per turn and they stack. So if you have multiple copies of Black Whirlwind on your side of the field, every time you normal summon it for every copy on your side of the field, you're going to get a search, which is amazing. This card is definitely definitely a three of in the build and is such a powerful searcher probably one of the most powerful searchers in the entire game so that's it for the spells guys let's get in to the traps So for the traps, we're going to start with a single copy of Twin Shadow. Twin Shadow is an amazing one of in the build, and it's actually one of my favorite artworks in the entire game. It has the ability to shuffle two of your Blackwing monsters, a tuner and a non-tuner that's banished on your graveyard into the deck, or the extra deck, to special summon a Blackwing Synchro monster or a Blackwing Dragon from your extra deck, whose level equals the level of those monsters. Basically recycling two of your monsters to go in for a Synchro play, which is so cool to be able to do. And it also is treated as a Synchro summon and if you control two or more blackwing monsters you can activate this card directly from your hand which is such a powerful effect we then play a single copy of branded beast Branded Beast is a really cool card to be able to put on your side of the field with your copy of Lubellion's effect. And this card just lets you pop a card on the field. And also, during the end phase, you can actually place your copy of Brand or Regain from your graveyard on your side of the field if you send it to the graveyard off your copy of Sawnir, which is really cool to be able to do. So, that's it for the main deck, guys. Let's get in to the extra deck. So for the extra deck, we're going to start off with one of my favorite cards in the entire game, Blackwing Full Armor Master. This card wins so many games. It has the ability, and it's four broken effects. It is unaffected by other card effects, meaning it's a towers. Each time a monster your opponent controls activates an effect, you place a wedge counter on that opponent's monster, maximum one. After the effect resolves, once per turn, you can target one monster your opponent controls with a wedge counter on it, take control of it permanently, and once per turn during your end phase, you can destroy all monsters on the field that have wedge counters. That is absolutely insane that this card is a towers, and the only way your opponent's going to get through this card is by actually getting a monster on the field that has 3,000 or more attack or defense points to be able to swing over this card. But you have two of it in the deck, so it's very easy to summon out multiple of this card to your side of the field, which is very tough for your opponent to deal with. We then played two copies of Black Winged Assault Dragon. This card is such a powerful boss monster to be able to summon out to your side of the field. It is really easy to be able to summon as well, because if you can summon one, you can summon the second one, which is super cool. It must either be Synchro Summon or Special Summon from the X deck by banishing a Tuner Synchro Monster and a Black Winged Dragon from face up from your field or graveyard, which are all always managing them from the graveyard to be able to summon out this card but you immediately synchro summon into one and then you just banish the materials to summon the second one and this card is actually absolutely insane this card is one of my favorite synchro monsters in the entire game besides full armor master because it has the ability that each time your opponent activates a monster effect, you place a black feather counter on this card when that effect resolves. And if you do, inflict 700 points of damage to your opponent. And during your opponent's turn, quick effect, you can tribute this card with four or more black feather counters on to destroy all cards on the field, which is such a powerful effect. So you can actually protect your monsters with your copy of Black Feather Whirlwind by just removing a counter from it. We can play a single copy of Dispatter. Dispatter is just really good at the deck to be able to use as a walking gate. Plus, it brings back a lighter dark monster to your side of the field. We can play a single copy of Chaos Angel. Chaos Angel is ridiculously easy to summon in this deck and just really cool, but you're only going to use dark monsters to make it. 
Sometimes you will use light with your copy of Lubellium, but usually you're just using dark to make it so your monsters cannot be destroyed by battle, which is really cool. Plus it spot removes a card off the field if you do summon it to your side of the field. Then we have a single copy of Abyss. Abyss is really good because it's also a walking negate in the deck and very easy to summon in the deck with your copy of Hiroshi. And then we have a single copy of Scarred Dragon Archfiend. Scarred Dragon Archfiend is really good to be able to play in this deck. As this card, its name becomes Red Dragon Archfiend while on the field on the graveyard. And if this card is sent from the monster zone to the graveyard, you can special summon a Red Dragon Archfiend from your X deck and it's treated as a Synchro Summon. And then this card is sent to the grave as a Synchro Material for a Dark Dragon Synchro Monster, which means your copy of Dispatter or your copy of Abyss, you can actually destroy all attacks with your monsters your opponent controls, which is going to help you go in for game. We then play a single copy of a Red Dragon Archfiend to be able to summon off your copy of Scar Red Dragon Archfiend, which is just really cool to be able to do. One copy of Draco Berserker because it's a dark monster and also banishes monsters when they activate their effects, which is really cool and then just a really awesome boss monster to be able to make in the deck. We then play a single copy of Black Winged Dragon. Black Winged Dragon is a key combo piece in the deck and just a really cool card to be able to use in this particular build. And it's amazing that we can play this card in the deck. We then play a single copy of Black Winged Tamer Obsidian Hawk G. Joe. Hawk Joe is amazing because it's a walking monster reborn for level 5 or higher wing beast type monsters, which is great to be able to bring them back to your side of the field. We can buy a single copy of Raikiri. Raikiri is also great because it can pop multiple cards on the field, which is nice. One copy of Nothung it gives us an additional normal summon, burns our opponent for 800, and it also reduces the attack points of a monster on the field by 800 attack points, which is great. I love that about this card. And then finally, we play a single copy of Borea Storm. Borea Storm is also a key combo piece on what you use with your copy of Blackwing Dragon step into your assault dragons and you manage both of these cards in the graveyard to summon out your second copy of assault dragon which is really cool but if this card is single summon you send a black wing monster from your deck to the grave and if you do this card's level becomes the same as that monster usually i send a copy of sharonga to the graveyard so i get a pop as well which is great it also makes this card a level two so i can use both of these on the field to step into the copy of black wing assault dragon which is just absolutely broken so that's it for the deck guys hope you enjoy it give this deck a try on master duel it's super fun i absolutely absolutely love this build it doesn't turn skip it just summons out a bunch of black wing monsters to your side of the field alongside your bestial monsters and just basically otks your opponent and it's just such a fun deck to be able to play if you guys have never played black wings before you should definitely give this deck a try because it's so fun to be able to play so i was going over this one guys don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the bell there so you can come for notification squad we'll see you guys in the next video see you later guys